It sounds like you've got a lot of ideas in terms of where the Conservative Party should be, what should be being done. Have any leadership campaigns, nascent though they might be, approached you? And will you be playing a prominent role in what's to come in the next few weeks and months? Well, I'll certainly be sticking up for my constituents and making my voice heard, as I have been doing today. You know, the reason that I'm out talking to you today and making these arguments is because I think it's so important that we get we get the right, we get the what right in the in in the next few days, and then obviously we'll move on to the who uh, as Parliament as MPs vote on who's next, uh, probably from next week. Um, and it's really important that we get that right from the start because if we don't think about having that broad appeal to new and old Conservative voters and you know attracting more, uh, making sure that we're doing the tackling the big issues now, like the tax cut that came through yesterday on tackling the cost of living crisis, making sure we deliver on, uh, how, on how, controlling our borders, which is a big part of the promise uh, in, uh, uh, from, uh, in 2019. Uh, making sure that we, at the same time, have an attractive regime for the brightest and the best in the world. You know, we've got to get that platform right that has a broad appeal and not, not just a, a, a narrow ideological platform. Well, Matt Hancock, somehow I think it's not going to be the last time we hear from you over the next few weeks. Thank you very much for joining us here on GB News. Really appreciate your time. Pleasure to be with you.